The latest out of the Middle East, violent anti-American protests overnight in Egypt. ABC's Lama Hassan is on the front lines of the demonstrations in Cairo right now. Lama, good morning to you. Good morning, Elizabeth. Well, this is a city bracing itself for a huge amount outpouring of anger. The streets of Cairo are once again a war zone. We're overlooking Tahrir Square, and just down the street from where we are is the U.S. Embassy. And we can see the security forces who are meant to be guarding the embassy firing tear gas at the protesters, trying to push them back. But the crowd is going nowhere. They're digging in and getting ready for a fight. Many thousands anticipating to take part in a million man march, a call to protest by the Muslim Brotherhood. Police and riot gear launching tear gas canisters into the sea of violent protesters. It is now the fourth day of anti American demonstrations, fueled by an amateur film called Innocence of Muslims. Many here say the movie is blasphemous, denigrating the Prophet Muhammad. Do not come what is your message? What is My your message, message is do not come near to us. Stop. Stop disrespecting us. Back in the U.S., police and reporters surrounded the California home of the man who allegedly produced the controversial film. Police tell ABC News Nikula Basli Nikula, a 55-year-old Egyptian Christian, used the assumed name Sam Basile to make and promote the movie. Nikula apparently told police he wrote the movie while serving time in federal prison last year on charges of bank fraud. But this morning, after seeing the violence his film has sparked, sources tell ABC News he now fears for his life. Well, following an investigation into the killings at the U.S. Embassy in Benghazi, there are reports that four people have been arrested. The Libyan Prime Minister says expect more arrests.